Okay, let's get this started. Here we are on StarCraft 2, or StarCraft II, if you're looking it up by voice to text. <laughs> or text to voice? I don't know. It, it's a weird name in the filing system because it's Roman numerals for two, and the computer doesn't recognize that. It's annoying. Um, but that being said, let me just make sure I've got <clears throat> maximum bandwidth available here. Okay, looks like we're good. Make public. Live on YouTube, like and subscribe, Blue Nexus Gaming. Uh, the easy way to find the lobby is right there. Just to join the lobby. tried inviting a few people, but they were already in a match. Mr. Mac, <laughs> are you by chance playing on an iMac? <laughs> Which, believe it or not, was the second name that machine got. The first name wasn't as thrilling. <laughs> Let's just say the original name of uh, Apple products was a lot more sensationalized and more sign of the times than it was catchy. <laughs> oh boy. I'll make it happen. Lovely. Oh, well, that's a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Working on a t raven. Where's 
the emergency. You cannot bark. Research complete. Great job, huh? Research complete. <laughs> that was a nice grenade. Enough minerals. Lock and load. Got eyes on you. We hear you. Ghost recording. Yeah. Pretty well right about now. Thinking of grabbing a Hellbat Ranger myself. <laughs> Actually, I think they got the right idea. Let me grab a siege tank or two.
Does Tychus have the shred around? Upgrade complete. What's in it for me? Hold on. Big job, huh? My dad was interrupting me. <laughs> that. Uh, we Good need. Toast. Honestly, we need ready. more heavy seeds. Sure Let's give them a hand. Toasty. Toasty. Roger. Hell that coming through. Bad news. Research complete. Whichever one was the Tychus mind control guy. Uh, not Nux. What's the other one? Not enough minerals. That's the one he needs. Taste napalm. Well, butter by a biscuit. Hell that. Come on through. <laughs> that was a lot of cluster missile damage. It works. <laughs> it really works. Air. 
ground, the haka. It just works. <laughs> Okay, I don't need to. First of all, it's not a dead game if it's popular. Okay, there are thousands and thousands and thousands that watch this. And hundreds and hundreds that play it. Not a dead game. Hate to break it to you. If it was a dead game, people wouldn't play it. <clears throat> Just saying. Oh, my YouTube chat had died. Let me get my phone set up with all of this. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Do, 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 do. There we go. Uh, switch from top messages to all messages. Much better.
It must be done. I know you have not enough minerals. Strike as one. You have not in my life for iron. Tight armored, and that means I need to rank up. What? Words. Use words. Okay, you're getting blocked.
Tychus is on the field does make it much easier since now we don't have to worry about purchasing any sort of, you know, armor. Because <clears throat> for the most part it doesn't really do much for us. for a mirage. Strike! Teleport! Research complete! Thank you. 
See, that's called teamwork. Something that requires communication. And requires not being perma-muted from all Battle.net servers to the point where you don't even get a name. You're just player. Soden once again. <sighs> Interesting match last round. One of the players couldn't speak. If I've got them blocked, there's usually a reason. So, uh, yeah.
Oh, lovely. That's a swan. Possibly a carrot. You're trying my patience. Not recommended. Nice skin. People are just like that.
more minerals. We only to survive this. Possible. <clears throat> Very possibly. Come on. Yeah. I just got in the Tyrannosaur. <laughs> Got one. Yeah, they had a lot of anti light, so I figured getting a Tyrannosaur would really help because this guy's just mostly got cyclones. He doesn't really have much. Uh, Swan focused mainly on upgrades. Alarak is Alarak. Uh, he's got a Havoc, he's got a couple of Vanguards. Vanguards are good against Armored, but he doesn't have weapon upgrades. Uh, he's, he's mostly just Alarak. Uh, and then we've got Phoenix over here, which focused on Talus. Grabbed the weapon upgrades, but Talus is primarily anti-light. So why were we getting so heavily decimated? We had Armored Mechanical, Armored Mechanical Heroic, Armored Mechanical Heroic, Bio Heroic, Armored Bio Massive. Okay, the Hydralisks were light. And Armored Bio, Bio Hero, Armored Bio. Yeah, why were we getting devastated by Talus? Like, seriously, it's just 20 damage each. 31 for Talus himself, but... Uh, he had... Just basic shielding, but... Other than that... Like, it just does not make sense how we lost. It really doesn't. Huh. Maybe it's because we... Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's because we went... Uh, we went against type, didn't we? They're all light. So I've got anti-armor upgrades that I never grabbed. But that didn't matter much because the only armor I would have been fighting is these cyclones which despite their 200 health is not much uh, the only other armored on the field is vanguards and phoenix himself are they just tanky? huh Go figure. Once we joined the fight, we apparently started to struggle. Like, we were sitting there, we were watching, we were going, what do we need? What, what are we on the lookout for? That's what I was doing the whole time. I was sitting there going, what do I need to build? What am I building next? Because my money is limited, very limited in that situation. Person named Bombadil. Well, if your first name's Pom if your first name's Tom, I'm worried. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, we might have a chance. Especially since we've got Excelsior. <laughs>
Two extra spaces there. There you go. We require more minerals. Need you on the field, the hacker. We require more Cheaper minerals. Cheaper low levels. <laughs> He's called the Haka. He's very nice, very friendly, loves hugs. <laughs> Yummy tanks. Tanks for the meal.
getting overrun with armored. That was so close to... I'd save up for the Tyrannosaur, but we wouldn't survive. Go figure. They can save a little on their scans. It's based on minerals spent? Pocket hits like a truck. Average. 
Medics we take out, the better. I'm looking. We can win. <laughs> we can't win air. Look at the ground. Okay. I'm looking. We can win air. The amount of snipes they just wasted on all of that. <laughs>
See, the Haka takes a while to really build up. But once he's built up, he's pretty well set. Because now they're all trying to go Vikings to try and, like, stop the Haka, right? So they're trying to really just hammer on the air. But I'm just going Creeper Host. And it's kind of working. It's a slow process. Don't get me wrong. It is a very, very slow process. But it works. <laughs> Gee, well played. That was a good match. What do you guys even have? Uh, ah, Strike Elias. Yeah, freaking Nova. Had a hollow decoy out front to tank. Is that just ghosts? No. That's ghosts with elite marines behind. Okay. That was scary for a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's, that's about what I expected to see. Uh, yeah. Landed Vikings. That's not something you see every day. Spawning Landed Vikings. And then this guy. Raid Liberators, which only target air and massive. More Strike Goliaths. Siege tanks. And looks like a couple of commandos. So yeah. Air could be one. That being said, Phoenix was kind of the one you wanted. Um, we sort of had air. The only reason they were even going air is because they were trying to take out Dahaka. Uh, specifically, they were going anti-Dahaka. Uh, I was countering that with Creeper Host. Thing is, Creeper Hosts are expensive. But they're very effective. Three kills, ten kills, twenty-one kills, another twenty-one kills, fourteen kills, another three kills. Then there's these guys. Twenty-two, twenty-six, nineteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-four, ten. 
Then we've got Dahaka over here with 100 damage. That's a that's an AOE attack. 132 kills. Yeah. He had Scorching Breath. He had level 3 Devour. Level 3 Intimidating Roar. Level 1 Regen. He had Keen Senses, so he had Detection. Uh, he was massive. He did not have Armored yet. Uh... Oh, he wasn't Colossal yet. He was just massive. Uh, so when he hits Colossal, when he hits level 10, that's when he gets attacked by air units. That's what the Vikings were for. He was preparing for that. Uh, he was hiding the fact that he was prepared for it at that because he started them off landed. So they didn't show that they had damage bonus versus massive or colossal or whatever. But yeah, like the fact that my teammates did not gas up kind of affected their bottom line. As you can see, like they, they kept up. Like, yeah, not much, not much. Like, I, I built a little bit. And then for a while I didn't build much. And then I just started building and building and building and building and building. If my teammates had a stronger selection, they would have found themselves in quite the different predicament. Especially if they had gotten all of their, their gas. Uh, resource scores, yeah. They were in the bottom two in resource. <laughs> APM. Number one in APM. Uh, that was that was a good match though. They put up a fight. Good vibes. Okay. Random. Make public. I mean, it was a good match. It was tough. Has on the ropes for a long time, that match. Like, a long time. We were fighting. Haka takes a while to get started, but once he goes, he just goes, man. He hits.
You know what? I'm gonna just go straight tier two. Get a pride for my first, but <clears throat> would not recommend, you know. Safeguarding the future. Some will die so that others may live. Ted 2 receiving. You've got my attention. Ah! You scared me! Yes, Command? Huh. Comm's a little fuzzy. In the rear with the gear. Or weapons primed. Underway. Say so. This should be research complete. Going in. Acknowledged. Huh? Me? You sure? Oh hell! Ready for dust off. If you say so.
Oh, yes, yes. Let the healer just heal them all. It's fine. <laughs> By all means. takes forever to build up enough money to get a tank. At least we broke their stack. Sorry, Stukov, I knew you'd do this. <laughs> so I equipped four flamers and two anti-air. <laughs> or two normal. I forget which. Either way, sorry, Stukov, I knew you were going to swarm us. <laughs>
I'm so close to another one. Never offloaded my experience there. My mistake. Safeguarding the future. Okay. Some will die so that others may live. Not enough minerals. Yep. Some will die so that others may live. Move it. Some will die so that others may live. Some will die so that others may live.
like thinking at really, really fast speeds at the moment. Or trying to. Yeah, shock divisions are nice, aren't they? <laughs> Rank 3 shock divisions. Very nice. Problem is, shock divisions are 975 each. Would save up for a pride, but the Vikings would shred it. They deal hundreds per shot. <laughs> The fact that we have such a meek army by comparison is actually helping us here. Oops. So I got Sky Furies. Saving up to grab a black hammer. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sky Fury is mostly just tanking AA. Say anything? <laughs> Odd. They just left. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably old wife. <laughs> that would do it, yeah. He's a flame. <laughs> I hope he's not a plant. We're losing. <laughs> I 
Don't want to lose to a plant. <laughs> <laughs> if I was D2 now, that would be troubling. Upgrade complete. Strike weapon. Phase 2. <laughs> Got mid. <laughs> gotcha. 
Oh, you know what? I never ranked up him. I am here. Click me. What's going on? Will do. Got him in my sights. Underway. Order accepted. Sure thing. I like it. Ready to plunder. <laughs> I mean, this has been a good match. Not gonna lie. This has been difficult. Got 84 expired units on the field. They're probably all tanks. <laughs> Every last one of them. we're actually like pushing we're holding mid we're doing good 
now I want a Pride of August Grad. Because they do give bonus rain. First, though, fast. Ready to plunder. I want to get another Sky Fury. Because those Alexanders are worrisome if they get out of hand. So, I want to make sure that I've got those in check, you know? Four gas within ten minutes. Oh, we'll Nothing never win. Wins. Whatever will we do? <laughs> Order acknowledged. Systems. Ah! You scared me! Order underway. This vessel will comply. Job confirmed. Move it! Target lock. System. I reinforced our detection, made sure we didn't have any gaps. If they're going to try going off sides, we're probably going to see them. Or at least we're going to see him trying. We are pretty much set as far as, uh, as far as just detection goes.
Full attack, all weapons. Yeah, 124.25 versus massive. Per shot. And that's just its standard attack. Cauterize the area. Roger. Who called in the fleet? Patching you through. Oh, yeah. That's gonna leave a mark. That's gonna leave a couple of marks. <laughs> Research complete. Grants nearby ranged ground units plus one weapon range. Oh, really? Yeah, look at that radius.
the gas. Gas. I am here. Click me. Ham. Fix me up, will ya? Dropping the hammer. You got my. I am here. Click Whoa. me. It's on. What's going on? Ted 2 receiving. Trooper standing Taking by. Taking aim. Yes, for our future. Got something for me? Get me back into the fight. I do, huh? Calm's a little fuzzy. Target ready to serve. Got my attention. Switching to full auto for our future. Ready to serve. Go ahead. Trooper, standing by. Ted 2 receiving. Awaiting Target locked. Work. Trooper, standing by. Transformation system. I am here. Click right. me. Made for battle. I am heavy metal. Oh, you idiot. I can't build here. Can't. Get me back into the fight. Big job, huh? Oops. That's four. Oops. So close. Come on. Come on. And got it. Just barely. Upgrade complete. We're fighting. So so heavily <laughs> that oh, oops. I do not think the enemy was prepared either. is siege tanks on a command center. Try as you may, try as you might, fight, fight with all this delight. You still will not survive the night because I know my build is right.
they're trying. They're doing good. They're doing great at defending this thing. But they will not survive to the 50 minute mark. Matter of fact, who's going to rescue me? Well, ready for dust off. Going in. This is actually ready going to off. ensure that they don't make it. That's a GG. <laughs> I was about ready to finish up the black hammers, but I figured that I would uh that was so many void rays. That was the thing that I had the most trouble with here, was those void rays, man. Oh, and the Corsairs. God, that was annoying. You even had dark archons. I didn't even notice those. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five. Looks like just short of a full line. No, you had a full line, you just you didn't space it right. You can fit seven. Because they're two by two, right? So you can fit them basically like this, where... Like, you see how I've got my tanks? I've only got three tanks, but I can fit seven in that row. Just because I have that one tank offset by a, deep, by a little diagonal, all of the others can fit uh like basically you just get three columns of two by two and let's see when did they get their gas 1034 1152 this guy had quit but he was playing raynor ah Uh, let's see. This guy never got his third gas. We're 40 minutes in, bro. Endu, why? We are 40 minutes in. You didn't even get your third gas until 11 minutes. Second gas, I can understand. We were kind of pushing hard. And you didn't get it until 31? We was winning for a while. 2137 for your third? Bro, no wonder we were on the back leg. We didn't have no money. <laughs> That's the difference money makes. Okay, they got it at 1152, 1034. Look at how much minerals they got. 25.1, 25.2. Look at how much we got. I'm the only one who rivaled them. Even he had four. Look at that. Even he had four. Meaning he grabbed it at the 10 minute mark too. So all of them had eco. We won by a fluke. A fluke and a really, really hefty buff from our teammates. We got Marauder Commandos, we got Hellbat Rangers, we got more Marauder Commandos. <laughs> Lots of Marauder Commandos. We got Raven Type 2s, we got Raid Liberators, we got more Ravens, more Raid Liberators, more Marauder Commandos. It was a very straightforward build. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> Oh, and so many sovereigns. So many sovereign battle cruisers. Seriously. With so many hellbats. The Deimos Vikings on the ground. Widow mines. Good lord. Uh, 125 plus 35 versus shields. Damage to their primary target. Plus. 40 plus another 40 versus shield splash damage to units nearby kind of okay but not the best option it was dealing splash 
so I'll give you credit there. It was splash damage. We needed splash. That was stated. Credit goes to you there on that. It is splash. Good job there. Um, these guys are a little bit better. <laughs> uh, but these guys, Overwatch mode, uh, inflict heavy area damage to air units. Black hammers in this mode cannot move. So, if I look, do I have any black hammers here? Okay, let's see. We've got Pride of August Grad. How many kills did they have? <laughs> like six. They were not worth 2,100 minerals. Look at the Shock Division. He's got a kill. And he's like not even half the price. How about this guy? He's got two kills. He's got 44 kills. Good lord. There we go. Black Hammer. Is he in Overwatch? I don't think he's in Overwatch. Oh, I think he is, actually. Yeah, he's anti-light. Okay. So, what are these? These are armored. So that's not as good. Because there aren't many light air. I mean, there's the Corsairs. Those guys just evaporate. But, like, Raid Liberators, those are armored. Even the infested ones. Uh, you know, Alexander, he's armored. He's armored, biological, mechanical, massive, heroic. He's got pretty much every single tag he could get. Where are some of the kills we got? I'm kind of curious. Okay. <laughs> Is it 831 kills? Good lord. 686, 629 or 829? I can't tell. Uh, Pride of August Grad, yeah, 130. He wasn't too worth it. 179, 159, 15. He was my most recent one. 17, 205. How about these guys? 53, 86, 185, uh, another 85, another 51, and then I was getting Imperial Intercessors, just basically getting six of them, you know, a row of six of them, and that was going to heal our front line because as you can see we've got a lot of units on the front line and when they get down here they just kind of smush uh but that's mostly because they just don't have anything healing them they've got hp i mean look at this guy 550 hp 350 hp like we've got hp you know, we've got armor. Say again? Even Nova here, like... Yeah. Shotgun mode? Come on, now. These are armored, man. You don't want shotgun versus armored. You want sniper mode, because then you can snipe off these guys. Although I guess there were a lot of infested. I was not helping very much against those guys. Like, I had Dominion Troopers, but they're only dealing 30. So it really does take two per. Technically, it takes three per, because uh, the Zergling that spawns out of them, too. There's a Zergling that spawns out of them when they die, so... Yeah. But yeah. 41 minutes and no gas you need to work on your gas because the enemy was winning because they got gas like they had more money than you they had more money than Bombadil they had more money than me 
I got gas. <laughs> okay. I got gas 10 minutes on the mark. Produced 950. Okay. I went eco hard. Like, look at this. 353, 130, zero. Like, my first two gases, spot on. This one was uh, 23 seconds late. This one, spot on. So, I could have had more minerals than them, but I would have needed to be perfect in my eco game. So, yeah. Uh, kill count, I was in the mid range. Uh, damage dealt, mid range, damage taken, took the least. Uh, mineral value killed, mid range, lost the least, uh, spawned the most. <laughs> Uh, spawned unit value, mid-range, uh, expired unit uh, count, uh, I was 97 out of the 98 units that poofed, 59.1 thousand minerals expired. <laughs> That's a lot of minerals. That's how hard I was winning my wave, okay? I won my wave so hard, I had 59 grand despawn. Twice my minerals collected. People tell me I suck. I had twice the amount of minerals. I collected going hard eco I missed one timing for my eco by 23 seconds or 53 it's either one minute or one and a half minutes I'm pretty sure it's one and a half but yeah like I, I went hard I was good <laughs> Highest APM on my team. I had the highest average unspent because everything was so ungodly expensive. And yet, somehow, despite only having three gases, you somehow managed a higher score. Oh, it's because you got the structures. You managed to nail the structures. That's what it was. Yeah, I had almost no structure score. So that was how you ended up uh, above me in score was you had structures, you had a little bit on the units, but other than that, like, yeah, look at that. They were going out of control. Like, Stukov was going ham. He was going wild. Somehow his army value had spiked to a hundred thirty-five thousand like literally look at that a hundred thirty five thousand fairly certain the dude was cheating I want to watch this Because that's bull. The fact that this guy had a hundred thirty five thousand unit value for his, his army value? No. 
No, I claim BS. No way. Let me, let me look at uh, resources. Tier two, so I didn't have any units my first couple of waves. Saw what the enemy was fighting over here, what uh, allies were fighting over here. Saw what was going down, I started building. Building, building, building. Oh, that's right, I was. I was looking at what all was going on, wasn't I? Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, let's let's see how Stukov managed to uh, pay to win his hundred something thousand units. This should be good. His, his hundred thousand something units. Because I really want to see how this happened. Someone pinged our bases. <laughs> so many blink stalkers, it really is. Look, I got 20, I got 20, I got 20 units encountered, and I'm already down to 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, no, 19, 18, yeah, that, there they go, there they go, yep, down to 10, down to 10 already, yep, just like that. They do not last long.
Stukov has so much unit spam. He really, really has so much unit spam. Then he unleashed my guys from their bunker. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, crud. <laughs> Definitely talking, yeah. See, he's going very strategic in his placement. You can see he's placing very carefully. He put tanks in the corner. He has marines that are stepped back so that they're not immediately on the front line. He has a back line that is also a front line. actually hit the disable on our bunker right there and probably gotten a better push. Stukov was taking it easy on us, man. He really was. Vikings. See, they're more or less, probably more. <laughs> usually, when you're pinging something, it's it's usually build more of if it's a defend. Oh yeah, we had a lot of cloak. Look at that, so much cloak. Beautiful. Imperial Intercessors were really doing their work. There's me getting my fourth gas. Thank you. 
ever so slightly. at the unit composition, we can see a dramatic difference in numbers. Uh, the Vikings outnumber us by a sizable margin. However, we've got Sky Furies. All of our healing that we've got going on, we've got eight units with twin healing. So that's 16 units on our front line that are just constantly getting healed. Usually. Which makes us very, very difficult to deal with. And those guys are only 150 apiece. So they're cheap. I could have gotten more. But I didn't need more. I only needed two. So I bought two and ended up with eight. And now they're realizing, okay, well, we need some anti-air. So he's grabbing the infested diamondbacks. So he realizes, okay, we're, we're going to need a little bit more anti-air. Uh, these guys, these guys deal damage. Not the nice kind. He sees that he's got the plague munitions going. It's just healing as much as it's uh, taking, basically. It's, it's just going and going and going. That was a nice shotgun from Kerrigan just before they got taken out. That was nice. He moves back to tanks. Nice. Smart move, smart move. One thing I wanted to check. When did he grab his fourth cast? 1049. Called it. Yeah, all three of them had their third gas by like five and a half minutes. This guy just rushed. Let's see, who are you mirroring? So yeah, Nova's mirror was Stukov, and Stukov was getting infested diamondbacks, it looks like. And infested siege tanks. And they were doing great. You know, the infested diamondbacks with their fungal snare. Very Brutal. Very, very brutal.
Yeah, my shock divisions were just holding the line half the time. The damage they could output was atrocious. he was in fact getting pushed back because with like half a dozen shock divisions on the field it's brutal man trying to push into half a dozen shock divisions that are just lined up it's just brutal there's me talking to my allies it's like I know Saving up for something. What's he saving up for? Best of siege tanks are like 600. It's probably grabbing infested siege tanks. Yep. You can see the price difference right there, all on one screen. 975 to 637. Who's gonna get a tank first? Him. Who's gonna win? Me. Mine can stun. <laughs> You could imagine... You could imagine what would have happened had I continued pushing siege tanks instead of diversifying my units a little and, you know, making sure I was there to... to reinforce and stuff like that. thing I want to check. I want to just double check. Everyone view. Huh. I could have swore they had some sort of salvo. Regular Vikings don't have salvos? They do apparently crumple like paper bags, however. Fly a tank? Nah, less effective. And then that guy just poofs at the 20 minute mark.
He's a plant. <laughs> which point I then decide to be witty. I hope he's not a plant. Otherwise, we'd been losing to a plant. <laughs> I hope he's not a plant. We're losing. <laughs> he had seven infest structure charges. Good lord. He has been holding on to those, man. He hasn't needed them. Like, he really hasn't. He has not needed those at all. Don't want to lose to a plant. See, some people think... Uh, some people say that, or see that, and they think... But, why? He's, he's like, you know, he's, he's the special guy, right? He's the plant. You know, you plant him, you win. Like me at kickball. <laughs> no, seriously. You put me in front of a kickball, and that thing will go wherever you point. You tell me, aim it over there. Okay. Boom! Exactly where you pointed. Like, laser point accuracy. It'll just hit the wall, because my entire thing when it comes to, like, games, my best thing. I'm actually best at first-person shooters. Strategy is my second best. Um, but first-person shooters is my best. Uh, strategy, I love strategy. Because it challenges my mind, you know? It's, it's one of the few things that challenges my mind, is strategizing against other humans. I have no idea what he means by blimp. I'll have to I'll have to watch their replay too. Like I'm I'm just gonna go through their whole the the whole replay. He did not immediately go tier 4? What? Bro, what's wrong with you? You could be doing extra damage. Tier 4, tier 4! It's been available for nearly 25 seconds! What are you doing? I'm... He's just sitting there watching the carnage, not realizing that he's doing less damage than us. Ah, uh, humanity. This might be his first time, re like, reaching this point in a match. He has no idea how to act. Ugh. Oh. Seriously. To grab Alexander, you... You... 
put off grabbing Tier 4 to grab Alexander. Watches as Alexander's just drop out of the sky because Sky Fury's. <laughs> He's like, oh god, that was a terrible investment. Why did I do that? And then those void rays. Oh my god, the Void Rays. Okay, 27 minutes in, he finally grabs Tier 4. Let's see if he realizes. Yup, instantly. start hitting harder. Specifically, what Strike Weaponry does is plus 10% attack speed, plus 10% move speed, and plus 5% ability cooldown with plus 5% uh, or plus 5% er, ability cooldown speed. Sorry. Uh, but also plus 5% energy uh, generation. Yeah, he's, he's got a lot of units, but... It's not escalating. Not like it's said. He's done 54% of the damage on the team. He's built half the army on the team. Little under half the upgrades. And he's destroyed a third of the structures. He's got 74% of the expired unit count on the team. But that doesn't mean much for value. that he has Alexander and I have Sky Furies. <laughs> it's like they're literally anti-massive. That's that's just you taking a ton of damage, bro. <laughs> like look at this. Watch. Watch. Their health it just evaporates. Watch this guy. Look at that. Look at that. They're just melting before them.
And he could be pushing back with his ability. There's strike weapon two. Does he realize it? He's sitting there, he's evaluating his his build layout. Could have done that from that forward proton cannon, bro. You know what it probably is? It's that Alexander's 2250. Now, what would have helped is if he grabbed the Apocalypse. That would have thrashed us. That would have caused me to start building more shock divisions, and that would have then caused them to lose. Sure they found that hilarious. Oh, that's just mean. They disrupt or web the shock division. Yeah, he's only got a hundred units. I'm not seeing where it says that his value is climbing towards like 25 grand by this point. Yes. Assign it a hot key. Hold on. <laughs> I want to assign it a hot key. <laughs>
got enough this time. Oh, he had Dark Templars. I never even noticed. Yeah, he had Shadow Guards. And Oracles. Some Corsairs. A bunch of Void Rays. Looking at his teammates' stuff. Probably giving him advice. He's got an overseer. He's got a second apocalypse, I think. No, just the one. He never did assign it a thing, did he? Assimilation complete. Pistol Liberator, Pistol Marines, Volatile Infested, Infested Civilians. Complete. Oops. There we go. Assimilation complete. Complete. This is where they realize they're losing air. We've got ground because I've got shock divisions. I'm just permanently stacked with like 10 stop shock divisions. If they push, I'll crumple. Like, watch this. They deal devastating amounts of damage right here, because we're all just clustered. You know, all the siege tanks targeting one spot, yes. The fact that the Thor was there helped immensely until it wasn't there anymore, at which point it didn't have that armor buff anymore, so everything just kind of fell. But then, like, they didn't really have much in the way of splash 
air? Like, they had some raid liberators, but the infested raid liberators they've got just keep getting wiped out because it's sovereign battle cruisers versus raid liberators. Infested or not, they're still just raid liberators against a sovereign battle cruiser. You know, it's just not going to win. Not in a one on one, but. The Sovereign Battlecruiser has a lot that it can shoot at. And there's a lot of stuff for those infested Raid Liberators to shoot at, too. And that Apocalypse is doing wonderful work. Like, did you guys catch how many kills he had? Insane. For how short he lived? Nuts. Oh, does he only have the one? Oh, yeah. Even still, 42. Assimilation complete. Yes. Spend your minerals. Spend all your minerals. Excellent. Dude. Spend it all. Go right ahead. Dude. His teammates units were getting pushed so hard. Yeah, he's he's got 85% of the team's expired unit count. 48% of the upgrade spending. Which, by the way, he didn't get the move speed for Overseers, but he grabbed pretty much everything else. See, Brood Queens are brutal. Uh... Something that's going to die quick here. There we go. Uh, he's got 57% of the team's kill count. 50% uh, of the army spending. So he's literally spent exactly the same amount as his teammate at this point. Uh... Yeah, his army value doesn't look like it's skyrocketing. I don't know what it was talking about. He realized it. He's sitting here going, Dang it, dang it, dang it, come on. Dang it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See, that was, that was his mistake right there. That 
that was his mistake. He grabbed the unit when he wanted the upgrade. Definitely MVP in that moment right there. Because he realized, like, he's got that ability. He hasn't done it yet. He just now got the uh, autocast upgrade. As he's like, oh. Oh, did I need that? <laughs> it's like, yes, you did. You've needed that for a while. And that's a TD on that. That's him looking at what everyone's stuff was. He's looking around, he's like, wow, what the fuck, man? <laughs> That's so much stuff. <laughs> Sorry about the language, but, you know. 4141 was the match length. That is quite a match. Okay. Now, rewind. I want to see what this guy was playing. What was his thinking here? He's got the bunker, he trains marines. Good, good. Speed this up a little bit more. He sees those hellions. Dusk wings. Nice. Good opening move, Raynor. You forgot to auto cast your discount. Wings and sea tanks. That is that is a thing of beauty right there. Except now you need your minerals. Your gas. Cool, you grabbed your your discount. You still have an auto cast your discount. Which is a little concerning. Ready to I don't know if you realize you can auto cast your discount. <laughs> uh, what it is is Raynor gets a discount. thing is that actually stacks Ready to blunder. so if you grab a battle cruiser the cost is reduced by 20 
but then if you upgrade it, the cost then gets reduced by like 200 Ready to blunder. for that. So you end up with a total discount of 220. And that's presuming you just, you know, do it at that stage. It stacks into the negatives. They'll actually pay you to build a unit eventually. They'll be like, if you build a marine, we'll give you five minerals. How about 10 minerals? 15 minerals? <laughs> Do you imagine getting paid to build Raynor siege tanks? That'd be hilarious. I wish the discounts were permanent. Ready to blunder. Ready to blunder. seeing these vikings and he's like they're doing nice things they are doing nice things the thing is Raynor vikings they don't seem to be that good um Anti-capital air missiles. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not much. Ready to blunder. This is tech. Does not grab the extra life on the Marines. Ready to blunder. He's doing good.
blunder. Ready to blunder. See, one benefit that he's got here is they only cost 300 apiece. Getting them confused with Deimos Vikings, which do have an AoE salvo and a massive damage uh, spike. perspective they're losing from our perspective we are losing <laughs> and that was all he did I had access to the chat logs of everyone now. Nice one, Barzun. Potter, I bet I know what your favorite commander is. It's probably Tychus. You know, because then you get to see Sirius again. Sorry, bad pun, I know. Leave a like if you think that pun was a groaner. <laughs> and if you think it was just plain funny, well, leave a like then too.
And if you think it was both a groaner and funny, well, you only need to press it once. <laughs> if you pressed it twice, you can just press it a third time and it'll go back to being liked. No worries. It's a toggle. Somebody was smart when they built that thing, eh? straight for it. Nope. He's grabbing Corsairs. Did he pop a black hole here? Looks like a good spot, but not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Wait for it now. I had not remembered when he was going to do it. I just guessed based on when I would do it. <laughs> If he hadn't done it right then, it would have been very awkward. Now remember, his teammate drops out at the 20-minute mark after realizing, Oh my god, they've started pushing back. Which, by the way, we would have started losing if he had started just building tanks again. That was it. I got a Thor. And, uh... Technically a Black Hammer. But, you know, it's an upgraded Thor. Sorry about poking the mic there. But I had gotten a Black Hammer. And I was like, okay, well, you know... We got some AA now. But my teammates kept going air. And they kept going air. And they kept going air. And they kept going air. Except every now and then, they didn't go air. But yeah, this was a 41, almost 42 minute match. We're watching it at, I think, quad speed right now. Now, note the uh, C ability in the bottom right corner there. He's got 25 cloaks available. He could buff all of his stalkers, and they'd be devastating. He could buff his Corsairs. They'd be devastating. But no, he does this. And another one. And another one. And another one. And another one. And he just keeps going. And by the time we start seeing them, he's got tons of them. Because currently it's just a few little laser beams. You might notice them, you might not. They kind of look like healers, they kind of don't. Eh, they could be mistaken anywhere on the battlefield. But they're cloaked. So until the wave dies out, you don't really notice them. And if they start stacking, help, uh, heaven help anyone on the other side.
Now, you may not understand why he's doing it, but let me, let me, let me pause for a second. Let me go back out to the battlefield, and let me look at this guy. He's currently dealing 8.05 damage at a speed of 0 0.36. And then it gets stronger. Now, if he's fighting armored, that's not 8.05. That's 12.85. And then it gets stronger. And his range is 9. For comparison, the siege tank has a range of 15. Uh, let's see. Void Ray gains damage as it continues its attack up to a maximum of plus six damage to armored units. Uh, Void, we Void Ray weapon range increases as it continues to attack. So that range just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, it could theoretically, uh, you know outgrow the entire map if it's not capped um but it is permanently cloaked uh which means uh since it is a vorzun unit when it is cloaked with the pylon it gains plus 15 percent damage and plus 15 percent energy regeneration when cloaked that's vorzun for you Uh, that being said, we just to make sure. Okay, resume. So he keeps buying these upgrades. for his void rays, and it's very, very potent. And his void rays are very, very cheap. <laughs> and if he gets the weapon upgrades, they're very, very deadly. Especially in large numbers, because they can they can stack. They don't have pathfinding issues. They are just a pinprick in in space, and if someone comes strolling up next to them, they can basically just phase almost directly through them and just keep shooting. They'll just nudge each other apart. But they won't nudge each other apart faster than they can drive forward and keep themselves in range. They'll maintain range. Range gets priority. <laughs> Prismatic core online. Yeah, that is brutal. Getting that many. Oh man, that is that is starting to add up. You now. Teammates saying we need AOE. getting more more and more and more how much are they costing again yeah 345 a piece that's pretty cheap not gonna lie that is pretty cheap compared to what I was spending yeah. I 
and then his teammate just he's vanishes. And he's like, WTF? <laughs> oh no, that was my teammate saying WTF. He's a plant. Prismatic core online. I mean, he's got his black hole. He's just focusing on building units. He cloaked the one void ray, he forgot to cloak the other. He didn't hold shift. So he currently has one void ray that is visible. I think he saw it. Did he see it? Nope. I mean, he might have now. Oh, congratulations! I didn't realize you had leveled up this game. Yeah, like look at how devastating that is when they spawn together like that. He's maxed his weapons for air units. He needs to upgrade his ground guns too. Oh, he hasn't finished his line yet. More Corsairs. He got it. Haha, he was smart. Smarter than his teammate, that's for sure. Oh, he. What do you mean he aborted it? What are you doing? Oh my god, seriously? He was smarter than his teammate. He's auto casting his. Weapons and shields before grabbing the 
The 10% is stronger than the weapons. Uh, this is attack speed on a siege unit. What are you doing? <laughs> Strike weaponry, you fool! You were doing so well! <sighs> poor man. That poor, poor man. If he had been on my team, I'd have told him no. Get strike weaponry first. Upgrade that first, because that is your entire army getting an upgrade. Four upgrades, technically. Dimensional strings attuned. Otter, what are you doing? Dimensional strings attuned. It's about to be strike weaponry two on you, and you're not even at strike weaponry one. Oh, Potter. Why? Dimensional strings attuned. It's, it's frustrating watching this because I know what he's doing wrong and I just want to right click it. <laughs> like I, I just want to auto cast it for him. It really should be auto cast by default. <laughs> It's it's just for tier four at least it should be auto cast by default. I understand why it's not, but like the strike weaponry should be auto cast by default. And I really wish there was some way to set up the autocast for the research. It would pl it would make playing random so much easier, because then I wouldn't have to set the research every single time. Finally, Potter, finally. <sighs> Called it. He waited until Strike Weaponry 2 was available. No wonder he's getting thrashed. Mm. 
he upgraded his ground armor. I mean, it's fair, he's playing Morazun, but Morazun, what are you doing with your charges? You, you've got like 15 of them. Why are your walkers, like, visible at all? <laughs> they, they should be piloting an entirely cloaked army by now. I do not know why they do not. Yeah, see? See? He realized it. He's like, huh. You know, those guys just cloak and uncloak and cloak and uncloak, but they deal more damage when they're cloaked. Let me just, uh... Let me, let me just, uh, cloak those guys. <laughs> and he grabs a Dark Archeon. Research complete. He still has not yet grabbed Strike Weaponry 2. <laughs> Oh my god. Not even on auto cast. It's ten percent weapon speed for five hundred minerals for your entire army. Air, ground, armored, light, bio, mech, hero, not both. In all cases, psionic. <laughs> no. All of these categories get affected, whether they have energy or not, whether they have guns or not, they get the buff. My Imperial Intercessors got the buff. Why? Why, Potter? Is Strike Weaponry Level 2 not on autocast? It's attack speed, it's move speed, it's ability cooldown speed. Like, you know, blink. And it's energy regeneration. Like, you know, for the Archons. And the Corsairs. <laughs> and it's attack speed. Like, you know, for the uh, Void Rays. Which, the longer they attack, based on how many attacks they've done, they'll get faster with every attack made. serious Jesus, Potter. 
What do you think this is? Defense against the dark arts? Take it seriously. <laughs> But seriously, bro. I've got a plus 30%. You've got a plus 10%. I wonder why you're losing. And yes, it does eventually get to the point where your weapon speed is just zero. And it, hit, it hits that rounding error. And it's just zero. Meaning... It's machine gun. Can you imagine machine gun void rays? A void ray with an attack speed of zero. Think about that. Because the base will get zero attack speed first. It's going to be the most lethal of them all. Void rays can outrange the base. So if you last long enough, you can end up destroying the base, even when the base is sitting there in insta kill mode. Because eventually the void rays reach insta kill mode, and their range increases per cycle of attack. Each attack increases range. So each attack also increases damage. So you end up just the void ray finds something it then murders everything on the field and now it's autocast now you're like oh i just read that let me grab that real quick <laughs> i'm guessing this is your first late game match potter Welcome to the late game, where us greedy people live. <laughs> the only reason greedy people live here is because we're the only ones who endure long enough. <laughs> You've got seven charges of cloak just sitting in your inventory. It's not too difficult. You're looking for key words, okay? Dark Archeons, Possession. Void Ray, Siege, Air and Ground, okay? Stalkers, Blink, which means they teleport. Uh, Corsairs, Disruption Web. Disables ground attacks. Huh? Most of them? Cloak. They're like half of the army is cloaked. Just by default. Uh the the elite uh the elite dark templars, what are those guys called? The sh the shadow guards? Yeah, those guys are cloaked by default. Uh, they also deal massive uh, multi-target ground damage. I'm here in shadows. Uh, Oracles, cloaked detection. Has an attack, does get targeted. Uh, yeah. No, volatile ex uh, infested. Explosive. Infested civilian. Waste of money. <laughs> infested marine. Not a waste of money. If you want infested, get infested, uh, volatile infested, because the infested civilians, while cheap, are just spam. They run up, they clog the lanes, they aren't very good. 
get instead volatile infested or infested marines. Either one of those will do way more. Okay, because infested marines, they are ranged. They do deal damage. Uh, infested civilians, I am here. they're not as good. They're dealing 11 damage. They're melee. They leap at their enemies. These guys are 9, but they're range. Range of 6, I might add. These guys, they're range of melee. Whereas these guys, these are melee, but they deal massive AOE damage. I'm here in the shadows. Potter, why? He turned off the autocast. It's there for a reason, man. What is wrong with you? How is that true? Hmm. And that is why he lost. you what was it you saw so you were playing Han and Horner how'd you do ready to raise some hell do some scouting I am watching at times eight speed, so apologies if it seems a little hectic. <laughs> Research complete. Straight two. Smart, smart. <laughs> 
It literally doubles damage received. Why would you not get multi-threaded sensors? Like, it doubles the damage the enemy receives. Why would you not get that? Also, refinery... going tier 3 instead of going eco. I can see why, but he should already have the eco. However, if he hadn't, we probably would have lost. That being said, he should have gone for the eco first. If you're wondering the easy way to remember the research, it's always weapon, armor, shield, weapon, armor. Okay. And it goes ground, ground, overall, air, air. Every time. So it's ground weapons, ground armor. Shields for everything. Air weapons, air armor. Now, in instances like Han and Horner, they combine them. And since they're Terran, they don't have shields. So, it's just two things. It's all weapons and all armor. Straightforward. Very straightforward. That refinery, though. 11 minutes in. Finally grabs the autocast on his refinery. He finally realized that he didn't have the uh, the autocast on his refinery. Yeah, that refinery has been unlocked for two minutes now, <laughs> and he's just now getting through the cooldown on it. So. Yeah, what you wanted to do there was just go ahead and auto cap the next refinery. I didn't even pull back my mess, it's alright. <laughs> love how fast the shock divisions, once they're fully upgraded, they just deploy and just... Boom. <laughs> Devastating. It really is. Oh, do you have your assault galleons customized? Are they only producing one unit?
Yeah, this is where they move Sovereign Battle Cruisers for Han and Horner because I got tired of people building multiple Sovereign Battle Cruisers and then immediately promoting them both to rank 3 and then just wiping the field before someone could ever get a chance to respond to two maxed out Sovereign Battle Cruisers suddenly appearing on the field when you've been doing a ground game the entire time so far. Like, ah oh, man, a black hole. I was thinking of these, which it's not quite hundreds, but 40 AOE with a 47 torpedo for a single target. That's brutal. Like, that is just a salvo at that point. in the fleet. No, that was Potter complaining. complete. Mm -hmm. 
it's always what it's always interesting watching people's like perspectives seeing what they learned how they reacted how they responded He's checking his teammates. He's going, okay, yeah, yeah. They've got mostly ground. I've got air. We're doing good. We're doing good. And all those black hammers, they're doing work. Got siege tanks. They're doing work. <laughs> those Deimos Vikings. Those things do work. Like, if you need AA, Deimos Viking. All day. Every day. Like, if he had gone just straight Deimos Vikings and Hellions, he probably would have gone and just wiped out the entire enemy air force. Because then I could have focused on ground, and I could have just gone shock divisions, wiped out all of the enemy armor, the Hellions would have mopped up, and that would have left our third teammate free to do whatever he wanted. But, eh, I digress. Upgrade complete. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Words. <laughs> busy building things in panic mode going how are they still alive we're throwing everything we've got at them captain somehow they're just taking more <laughs>
saving up for pride up in the top left there. <laughs> I already get pride. I think this is me saving up for pride. No, that's right. This is me wondering what to buy next. I think it was getting black hammers. Yeah, I think this is a double black hammer. Purchase. Or some. I was doing some. This might have been where I was moving the black hammers around. Because I was doing that at one point. <laughs> I was like, I need more room for black hammers. I know I can fit more. I don't know why I can't fit more. Let me see if I maybe put them on the wrong row. And I looked, and I had. I was like, well, that's why I can't fit more. I got them all on the wrong row. I need to move them down, so I did. I rearranged my my grouping of my units a little bit, and I sold one because I had one too many. I was at one point thinking of building a back line of Dominion troopers. He's placing a bunch of mag mines all over the place down there. <laughs> it's just like, you want in, mofo? You're going to have to walk through a minefield. And these? These are better than Raynor. Raynor's Viking uh, officers ain't got nothing on these mag mines. I know this stuff about them mag mines, man. Han's the ground guy, Horner's the air guy. starts just pushing. It's that effective. But the thing is, by this point, by the time you get Strike Refinery 1, you are supposed to have your fourth gas. They expect you to have your fourth gas. It's the way they built it. My teammates didn't really communicate very much this match, so it's interesting to see what they did. Ready to plunder. Ground units. He's building ground units.
the thing is, he wants Deimos Vikings. Ready to blunder. He never built his fort gas. was baffling. He was lucky we won. Lucky we had enough firepower to cover for him. Those galleons are good, but Deimos Vikings pound for pound deal more damage per mineral. More damage per space and more damage per unit. <clears throat> the galleons are good, don't get me wrong. You know, being able to produce mag mines, like widow mines, is terrifying, yes. But they produce them so slowly that they do not ever actually generate any like unit and therefore you end up not using them because they just never make one like when I do the everyone pass I'll, I'll show you what I mean they just never made one they never actually completed a unit <laughs> Because the only thing he's building is Widow Mines. Well, Widow Mines take time. You have to basically traverse the entirety of the map before you can make about half a Widow Mine. So you gotta, like, stick around a while. You gotta be at a real impasse to want Widow Mines, you know? They build slow. They don't build fast. Last I checked, at least. the only thing he builds, but it just doesn't build them fast enough. It's great if we get stuck, but it's not really all that great otherwise. clear the field though. That's Deimos Vikings. Deimos Vikings clears fields. Every time. Those cluster missiles do not joke around. Like, it looks like a few missiles, but you get about seven Deimos Vikings lined up in a line, and those few missiles are now 14 projectiles of doom that's going to just eventually annihilate everything in an entire area, because it's dealing 40 damage, usually. 20 if it's, uh, or was it 20? No, it's, no, it was 40 and a bonus, so that's Ready right. To Basically, it's, it's dealing an obscene amount of damage.
Actually, I am fairly certain we've seen pretty much everything there is to see of this one. <sighs> but alas, we may as well review what Bombadil saw. By the way, pro tip, don't go straight into armor if there's a Tychus on the enemy team, because Tychus unit has a upgrade called Shredder Rounds, most people grab it. It strips the enemy of its armor, all of it, doesn't matter if it's the Haka, Nova, you know, Ultralisk, Apocalisk, it doesn't matter. It's interesting seeing the build order form. I get to see the formation Hellbat, unfold. not grabbed second gas or sorry still has not grabbed third gas okay. has grabbed second gas he had might have been dead freaking five minutes ago <laughs> I've seen people make it two ten minutes 
on one gas. It's ambitious, but it's an all or nothing play. Meaning, if you don't nail that timing perfectly, and if your enemy doesn't counter you, yeah, it works. But if you, if you, let's say you do nail the timing, if your enemy counters you, they're going to be able to stop you, and then they'll start pushing, and pushing, and pushing, and because you have no economy to stop them, because you only went one gas, you're just stuck in this massive debt until you finally, finally become useful to your teammates. You see, the thing about building your refineries is you're going to be in debt one way or the other. The difference is when will you be in debt as soon as you can build the next refinery? Or are you going to wait a few minutes? You're going to be in debt either way, but the sooner you build it, the more profitable it will be once it has paid itself off, because it will have more time to be profitable. So the debt is unavoidable. That's the initial cost. But if you survive long enough to pay it off, worth it. It's about to get heavy. And since the third refinery should be off cooldown by 350, like, that's a no-brainer, right? Okay. Finally grabbing infantry weapons now. Oh god, Nova's gonna be brutal when they start pushing. thing is, Hellions are tier 1, and they're cheap. Shock Divisions are tier 2, and they're nearly a grand. <laughs> so if we really need anti-armor, Hellions. But if we need splash anti-armor, Shock Divisions. If we get both? We're set. Okay, because the Hellions have separate upgrades that upgrade attack speed and movement speed upon death. Whereas the Firebats, I think, upgrade damage upon death? The, the Hellbats?
coming through. Coming through. See, he's, he's kind of hip. He started going tier 3, autocast tier 4, grabbed his third gas. Because he knew that tier 4 was coming around the corner. So he knew he'd need his gas. Oh yeah, Nova, since she doesn't have shields because she's Terran, uh, moves her uh, air unit and uh, stuff over by one. I don't know why Nova's positioning is different. She's a unique corner case. for action.
raid complete. as it has. <laughs> Squeeze the life out of our enemies. <laughs> With lots of lasers. Mostly cannons, though. And rockets. Lots of rockets. <laughs> Got it right away. He did not wait. It was like, yeah, no, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the strike weapon right there. But he still hasn't gotten his fourth gas. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, why are you like this? You don't have to wait for the previous one to pay itself off first. 
You got the money to get the gas, get the gas. <laughs> because later, you might not be able to afford it if you wait. Because the enemy didn't. The enemy didn't wait. Okay. They all went money. And one of them, one of them was a macro player, or one of them was a micro player. I'm a macro player. Research complete. Raven type two. Nice. See, that is going to do some damage. Because those things... Ooh boy. Those things are nice. So many void rays. And they're all cloaked. And that's terrifying. Really, really is. Finally got it, though. More Ravens. Nice.
see, now Nova's benefiting from that full economy. Remember, we just watched them sit there and just wait to grab this upgrade. They never grabbed it. And you can see just how much of a difference it makes. Now that you know that we grabbed it, they didn't. And you can just judge for yourselves if you should ever take this off autocast. <laughs> because you can see, like, it is back and forth here. It is just barely, barely any movement on either side. They're outnumbering us, they're outgunning us, we're outnumbering them, we're outgunning them. Someone upgrades their range. Someone else upgrades their units. You know, everyone's got maxed guns. Everyone's got maxed armor. Everyone should have all of their refineries by the 30 minute mark at least. Like, that is the farthest you want to be without a fourth refinery is 30 minutes. If you ain't got a fourth refinery by 30 minutes, you're losing. <laughs> like, we might have mid, but we're still losing because you ain't got that fourth refinery. You know, this would be easier if you got a fourth refinery. <laughs> Trust me, we can hold them for a few waves while you get it. I think we're going to be fine if we have to wait for you to get some upgrade to your economy. <laughs> for about 375 minerals. Don't worry, we've all been through that debt. <laughs> it's almost like we all purchased it previously and have paid it off. <laughs> He's now encountering that point where he's like, well, what do I buy now? More Marauder Commandos, I guess. I mean, Nova Marauder Commandos are just overpowered. Point blank. Nova Marauder Commandos are overpowered. Oh, it's on. But they can't attack air. <laughs> like, oh yeah, they're overpowered, but they can't attack air. So, you know, like, a single wraith could take them down. An oracle could take them down. They could die to an oracle. It's just an oversized observer. <laughs> Throw them versus siege tanks. Oh yeah, they're great. Throw them against an oracle, even with detection. Nothing. Oracle just takes them out. Just 
Because it's flying. Nova's got it on autocast. Let's see if it's their first purchase. Looks like it. They're winning, they're winning, they're winning. Purchased strike weaponry level four immediately. Ooh. <laughs> we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. Now remember, I do plan to look and see how long it takes them to actually build those spider mines, but I am fairly certain that they do not build very fast. They're great when they stack. view. spotting the boar zoom. <laughs>
in large enough numbers, to be fair, his Vikings would eventually overpower the battle cruisers. Just through sheer numbers. It would be so many bullets all at once, the battle cruiser wouldn't be able to respond in time, and basically it would get one shot off, pick off one of them, maybe two or three. But it would do some damage, and then it would have to teleport. And then they'd just swoop in and finish it off, probably before it even finishes reloading. It might pick off another one, but even still, like, it deals some damage, but it just gets overwhelmed. You know? And they're so spread out that they aren't going to just cluster together into one deadly group. It's a massive line. You know? So it's really difficult to deal with. And it's really annoying to deal with. I'm watching the demos like it, just what they do. But I'm sorry, they're running that specter. <laughs> Now, you're looking at all this, you're seeing everyone's build order, you're seeing what they all built, you're seeing how they do it, and then there's my build order, where I'm spending about a minute and a half between builds on average. Literally, like 500 minerals. And then people wonder why I'm greedy. <laughs> it's like, bro, 
My average unit costs 500 minerals. What do you mean, why am I greedy? Half the match. I spent my my time at like 500 minerals or more. What do you, what do you mean greedy? <laughs> You smoke in there, Kimosabe, because, uh. Well. Must be stronger than whatever I smoke. <laughs> I'm crazy. What's your excuse? <laughs> it's my favorite line. Used to say that to my friends over in uh, Covington. They'd do something stupid, I'd walk up to him, I go, I'm crazy, what's your excuse? They go, what do you mean? I go, well, like, you know, not everyone can get away with what you just did. And he'd go, what do you mean? And I go, well, people get upset. You know, like, think about it. If it was you, right, how would you react? You, you'd want to hurt someone, right? And they go, yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. If it was me, I'd, I'd want to hurt someone for that. Yeah, not everyone can get away with what I just did. You're right. You know? And if they weren't the type that responds to that, I would say, okay, well, think about if it was, like, your best friend or your family member. Family member works so much more frequently. But every now and then, people hate their family. Like me. I have family I hate. Uh, but, eh. Didn't ask to be related to them. <laughs> so, that's my input on it. <laughs> If I had a chance to be asked, I would have asked to be paired with someone like them. <laughs> but not them. Because like them means one of the properties is favorable. There are favorable properties. But that does not mean I have to like them. You know? Because there can be properties that aren't favorable. And if the ones that aren't favorable outweigh the ones that are favorable, well, that's a negative value. That's not good. That's, that's the type of people you disassociate with, and that's just bad. You don't want that. You can see those... Those Deimos Vikings are just obliterating. And then they land, and they just get devastated. But the shock divisions are really on point. They are really devastating. <laughs> like the enemy just barely enters the range and just gets obliterated. <laughs> and I only built three, mind you. So the fact that there's just constantly six of them is hilarious. Because I only built three. Apparently six is the amount I needed, but three was all I actually had, so yeah.
Okay, so they do build them. They just don't build them often. They do build them, though. Salt Galleons do build. But you're lucky to get more than one wave for spider mines. If you get two waves, you're probably pushing. Or you're in the end game. Either or. Thing is, I've made it to the end game. I've min maxed for the end game. Okay, my build order is built for the end game. Whoever has money fastest usually wins. In games like this, where it gets to 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, that's usually how it goes. Like, I've had it be where I was worried it was my computer, because I just wasn't sure what my graphics card was maximally capable of actually achieving before it just crashed. <laughs> I, I've never reached that point. I don't know what it takes. It's, you know, eventually it's just a competition of the hardware. And if your computer can withstand maxed out settings with just maxed out everything, uh, congratulations. Uh, you're definitely richer than me. <laughs> um, I'm on minimum settings. Believe it or not, this is minimum settings. I, I think. Yeah. Low, 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 low. Yeah. This is at minimum settings. Now that you've seen what each little piece is, where it was placed, how it got there, you're able to make sense of all of this 
chaos. It's all now just logic. You can tell when each shot rings out. Your brain is able to calculate all of those timings for when it spawns in each shot, when each unit is going to die, how fast it takes for how many beams to kill, how big of a target, based on where it's shooting. For example, Sky Furies. Very difficult to kill. Very, very difficult to kill. Demos Vikings. Usually a high priority target. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Now there's two of them they gotta deal with. It does, however, eventually devolve into mindless chaos as the entire arena fills with explosions more and more. <laughs> Where are these guys going? Heck. the Alexander's definitely pushing pretty hard here. They are just getting devastated by the Sky Fury. It's slamming into them.
Okay, what's this say? <sighs> oh, it's skin <laughs> void stasis. Okay, so it says it's anti light. 31.5 or normal of 15.75 with all of its current buffs. Uh, this thing is definitely not light. Neither are these. These, however, are. These are armored. That okay, guy, I think, had some light, but yeah, he had the dusk wings. Dusk wings are light, I think. Yeah, just look at that armor aura, just push forward. It's a beautiful thing. It really is. Now they're giving each other armor. Now it's just down to him. Hundred twenty four point five. <laughs> Six armor, speed, immobile. <laughs> Let me check something. Where is this guy at? Are they all currently three armor. Oh, its move speed went up when its armor went up. Oh my. What is giving it that effect? That is tactical realignment, increased damage against ground units. Black Hammer is granting this unit plus three armor, plus 20% attack speed, plus 20% movement speed. Oh, okay. So it's multiple effects. It's got extra range. It's got extra damage. And it's got extra attack speed, extra movement speed, and extra armor. It's multiple effects. Okay. Like, look at this chaos. This is, this is normal speed right here. Oh, 
Dark Templar casually phasing units. Yeah, look at this guy. Even on the ground. He ain't scared. Look at him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because uh, even on the ground, they're not safe. Massive 119 from a Gatling cannon. I'm sure that's not terrifying enough for you. <laughs> and then, it gets better because, if you'll notice, uh, all three of these guys are a little low on HP, but... Despite being practically surrounded, they're perfectly fine at their very, very minimalistic condition. Then we've got these guys providing all these indoctrinations. Extra attack speed, extra move speed.
There's a lot of infested civilians. There's a lot of dead infested civilians. Well. I guess that's just how it goes sometimes.
Yeah, there's that too. That's always a nice thing. <laughs> I need to build more Sky Furies, man. They gain shields that feel that absorb 400 damage when they take fatal damage. <laughs> it's like, bro, that's awesome. I guess I should have built more Sky Furies. I was about to build more Sky Furies. But then I didn't because we won. giving that bonus to is absurd. It's got 33 kills. 34 kills! How many kills does this thing get before it dies? <laughs> kills, 42 kills, 43 kills, 44 kills, holy Christ, that is a lot of kills for a nexus. Sadly though, it's streaked. 
could not go forever. For just as it got ready to get the COD nuke achievement, it fell. <laughs> achievement unlocked. GG! <laughs> it went. It even tried to go for the gold, getting a 51st kill, but alas, it's 53rd when it's on to. It did get that sweet trip though. <laughs> Sadly, it, uh, it needed to get a quad at least. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> 30 minutes. Jeez, 30 minutes. Seriously, guys. I mean, look at that minerals collect the difference. Like, bro. <laughs> Minerals spent, I spent more than all y'all. <laughs> uh, well, on my team at least. Uh, they spent more than me. Uh, army spending, you spent more on your army, but you were spending it on galleons. Matter of fact, how is your army spending higher than your minerals spent? Oh, you know what it is? It's those widow mines. Okay, so that that number doesn't really tie in well with Han and Horner. Good to know. Uh, upgrade spending. I actually spent the least on upgrades. <laughs> scan spending. Uh, I spent the second most on scans. Uh, teammate spent most. Um. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just agony seeing that for so long. Yeah, those help at rangers are nice.
these units are pretty brutal. That was a GG though. Uh, and uh, That was quite the exhaustive replay. Quite exhaustive. <laughs> <sighs>